Mike, can you, can you start there? Just give us an update on how you're doing and uh, you know, how the, the surgery went and what the, the rehab outlook is for you. Yeah, yeah, surgery went amazing. Um, you know, it, it happened quick, you know, leaving here, getting second opinions. Um, ended up in L.A., uh, got a second opinion next morning, 5 a.m., bow, uh, getting a surgery. So, um, and I can just say that I was very confident in, in getting the surgery just because uh, – when I walked in the room, um, Dr. Watkins made me feel 1,000 times better um, and just, you know, gave me the confidence that I needed to, to go along with it. So got surgery. Um, that same day, drove down to San Diego, um, spent time with the family the, last, the next couple weeks. Um, but uh, watching these games on TV was not the same. Uh, it was, it, you know, it hurt a little bit um, just being away from, from being away from the guys. And, and, you know, I was telling somebody earlier about, the, the Steelers game and just not being in the in the stadium with the guys and hearing the crowd and all that type of stuff. But we're here now. I'm excited to be back. Um, been a been a rough couple of weeks, but I, you know I have my family, my my two little kids and my wife to to lean on. And um, like I said, just excited to be back. Sean said today he tried to put the I think he, the line was he tried to put the coach hat on you a little bit. He wasn't sure it quite fit. But kind of yeah. what are you doing and, and what's your take on all? That? You know what I. Ask me that in a couple of weeks, because I I don't even know yet. Uh, you know, I'm just in the building. I'm trying to help out the help out the young guys. You know, obviously, uh, as far as rehab goes, I'm not able to to do it to do everything, do a lot of stuff yet. But um, I just I'm excited. I'm excited for this rehab process, um, and it's kind of a new role for me. Uh, I've never you know I can count on one hand how many games I've missed in my career. Um, and I'm talking way back to when I started playing sports. Um, so this is just new to me, and I think it's eye-opening. And I know that there's a, you know, there's a there's a, a lesson to be learned, a blessing on the other side of this, you know. So uh, I'm just here to 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 help out the young guys, and you know, when that when my time comes to get back out there and earn the trust of the guys again, um, you know, so be it. Be doing rehab here in the facility with with the team. I'm rehab. sorry, what was that? Rehab. We'll be doing it here in Buffalo. Yeah, yeah I'm here. I'm here for the year. Yep, yep. So um, there's not much I can do right now. It's kind of just time to heal. But uh, once I'm able to do all that, I'll be here. I'll be doing it here. Some of these younger guys uh, fill in for you and even Jordan, who's missed some time. How impressive have, have they been in, in your eyes? Uh, you know, I think we've always had that next man in mentality. But to see them go out there and play well. Um, you know, with you know somebody like myself that has a lot of experience, to, for them to come in and just continue to, to you know, hold to the standard of our defense, it's amazing to see. Um, it really is. And and you know, these are guys that have been you know playing special teams and not really getting as many reps as, as I'm sure they would like to over the last couple of years. So to have them go out there and just you know make some plays, give themselves some confidence, it's cool to see. And you know, obviously with you know JPO out there helping them and. And two seven working his way back and tearing with a lot of reps, um, you know, you just go out there and do your job, and that's kind of my message to them: just do your job, you know, do whatever your role is in the defense, and and don't try to be Superman or anything like that. Just, you know, go out there and make some plays. Talk about your twin, your employer, and how he stepped up in your absence in the leadership of driving 16 hours and driving back. Here to talk about that and your impressions on that. Yeah, so I was in San Diego and, and I texted him, I checked up on him, see how he felt. Uh, he said he was driving 16 hours to go to Kansas City and I just laughed at him. I'm like, bro, what? Like, can't fly, but you're gonna drive? Like, what? Um, but you're gonna play? And, and so, you know, I, that's just, that's Poe. That's the type of dude he is. He was not gonna miss that game. Um, and that's the type of leader and, and, and competitor that he is. So, you know, it was just, it was funny to me, but I knew no way in hell he was going to miss that game. Would it have been harder 10 years ago before you have family than it was this time around knowing you've got a young family and, you know, Yeah, that, that definitely played a part. Um, you know, what happened that Monday night was, was something that just was eye-opening to me. I um, mean, I understand that this is a violent game. This is, you know... Anything can happen on any given night, but that was just real eye opening to me. And and you know, hopping in that ambulance after the or during the game and going to the hospital with my wife, um, you know, I got two a two year old and one year old. So, you know, that life was put you know right in front of me, and I kind of it, it kind of scared me a little bit. So, um, and that's why I say when I went to LA and I just the doctor gave me a bunch of confidence. That's when I was you know, um, it was cool for me because I knew I wasn't uh, far from done. Um, and, and so there was a little panic that Monday night, but my head's, my head's in a good space. Um, like I said, I had my family to lean on, and um, the decision was definitely different, you know, being a rookie to a 10-year vet with two, two little babies at the house.
when you that, that said, as the season progresses and should progress the way it, 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 it might, how difficult is it going to be holding you back from saying, I want to be back out there, you know, come playoff time? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I... You know, I, I feel like uh, even right now I feel good. I feel like I can start running. I, obviously, that's not the case. You know, I, 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 I'm not good. Uh, I just got surgery. But, um, yeah, I know as this process goes, and I think that, you know, the trainers in the facility, they know that this, it's probably going to be on them to hold me back um, because, you know, I just want to go out there. I want to work. I want to get better um, and obviously make a long playoff run. You know, I, I want to be a part of, of what's going on. So I think that was the most difficult thing for me. You know, especially being away, um, knowing the a lot of the hard work, uh, whether if it's you know studying film or or working out, and you know all these years to finally be in the position that we're in, to know that we have a shot to you know again to win the Super Bowl, um, that you know I couldn't be, I might not be a part of it. Um, but then I, I thought again, I'm like I, I am a part of it. You know, I'm I'm here. I'm helping the guys out. You know, and um, you know it's it's a new role for me, but. Like I said, I'm excited to, to attack this rehab process. You that, mentioned yeah, that is that is pretty crazy. I since leaving Green Bay, I haven't got to play them yet. Um, I went out the first quarter of the game a few years ago at, uh, up there, and then and obviously this one. So um, you know, I, I wanted to get try to get a, a pick off 12. You know, I, anytime you can get a Hall of Fame quarterback, uh, that's that's something you put in your trophy case. But unfortunately, not able to do that. So you know, maybe after the game, I can ask him for for a football or something. Finally, being able to feel like you are still a part of that of this team and everything, I feel like that's a hard process. What got you there? Was it people reminding you that? Did you have to feel it yourself? Like, how did you reach that comfort? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of all that. Um, you know, I, just, I don't want to say I was in a dark place after surgery because you know I was I was confident. I'm a confident person that I'm, you know, whatever's thrown my way, I'm able to 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 knock it down and get through it or whatever. But um, you know, just having my wife in my ear, you know, just being around, being at the house, being around my family, uh, being around the kids. Uh, my son, he's he's two, and he watched the highlight video um, that the Bills put out at the at the beginning of the year, talking about alpha males, all that. So he's running around the house, you know, trying to be daddy and stuff like that. So, you know, I just see that, and it, and it just gives me confidence that you know my time's not done. I just gotta, you know, uh, sit out for a little bit. And like I said, I know there's a message on the other side of this, and um, I'm just excited for this new role. And are you? You'll be ready to play in 2023. Come on, Sal. You know me, bro. They, I'm going to be hitting home runs at the charity softball game. I'm going to be doing all that, and they're going to have to, you know, like I said, throughout the next couple of weeks, pull me back because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming for it in 23. Dark spot. Yeah, one more thing about something you had just said, that, you know, you, you realize that you are going to be a part of it. And, and it seems obvious that you can lend a lot, but specifically, how do you think you can help the players on this team, given your experience? I just think with my with my experience, um, just the 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 day to day grind. Um, you know, I know that it's a long season, and if you're not trained for a long season, that mentally it could it could tear you apart. Um, especially when you know it's cold out, you possibly lose a game, you have a bad game. You know, there's a lot of stuff that plays into it. So I've just been trying to, you know, since I got back a couple of days ago, just try to stay in everybody's ear and be be as positive as possible. And I feel like I was like that before this injury happened. But now I even have to, you know, put a little bit more emphasis on it because, you know, that's really all I can do right now. Did you suffer uh, solely a result of the play in the Tennessee game? Or was, there, was it something that you had been maybe dealing with that was made worse by what happened? Yeah, in yeah it's something I've been dealing with playing, f you know, for for – many years um and uh like i said it just something that scared me that i didn't think was possible um and then it happened and you know here we are nothing at all nope. nothing at all when it comes to you know how dangerous and, and good Aaron Rodgers is when he comes out and says after that loss someday that maybe the best thing that could happen to us is they're just counting us out when we're going to Buffalo how much more dangerous is that for Aaron You know, I've been around him before, um, and I know that um, when his back against the wall, the team's back against the wall, he just, you know, rallies them. Um, so that is something that, you know, we're, we're obviously paying attention to. Um, 
but at the same time, you know, there's stuff that we also have to work on too to to get better at. And so, um, you know, that's where the chess match comes in. And uh, you know, I'm 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 super excited for this game just for the guys to go out there and um, you know play against a Hall of Fame quarterback that has his back against the wall and you know show the league what we got. A dark spot after surgery. We saw the Halloween costume with the bolts in the neck and. Is that something you have to do in this situation? Just kind of take it in stride, do your best to, to, to remain positive about it. And on top of that, how much do your teammates help you do that? Uh, specifically, maybe Tredavious White, who's gone through a little. Yeah, so I was gonna I was gonna hit that. Um, as far as the uh, the costume goes, um, I literally got out of surgery, and my wife said, "You're Frankenstein for Halloween." Like, <laughs> might have been one of the first things she said. Um, so I just was like, "All right, sure." So she had her. Um, shout out to Faith. She uh, came over, put my makeup on, and all that stuff. It was it was pretty crazy. No one recognized me. Um, but then on top of that, you know, as far as being out, I did lean on Tre'Davious. I had a long conversation with Tre'Davious um, a few weeks ago, and just just to pick his mind, see where his head was his head was at coming in, you know, trying to trying to come back, but also um, what I can, you know, have what what obstacle I'm have to face. And so, you know, just having a relationship with him, like I, I treat these guys, Tre'Davious. Uh, Poe, Taryn, like guys, Saran, guys I've been with, you know, for the last five years. Um, not just them. Obviously, I can name a lot more guys, but those are my brothers, man. Like, I, I talk to them all the time, especially during the season. We go to war. Um, so just kind of picking his brain really helped me out. And that was another person that, um, is, you know, with my family and friends and all that, that kind of rallied around. And, and not to mention all of Bill's Mafia um, that once uh, once, you know, everyone noticed I was going on IR, my phone just blew. Like, I'm Anybody listening to this, I didn't respond. I'm sorry because my phone just blew up. Um, and so I just have so much support from so many people that, you know, I, I'm the type of person I'm not backing down from that. Like, I got to show everybody that what I got. And, um, you know, hey, there's, there's a, a lot of people thinking a 32-year-old coming off neck, neck surgery can't, can't be the player he was before. So um, I'm going to enjoy this one. This thing that Trey said what he did face because it, it probably was a dark time for him too. I just feel like – at times, there's like there's like a loneliness, you know. I just feel like you're, we've we're we're all at, you know the athletes. You're trained to do this every day. You're, you're putting that routine um, out there every single day. And I've been doing it since I've been you know since I was little. Um, just continue to work out, continue to do this. So this was eye opening to me that you know wow I had to get surgery. And then once I got surgery, like, wow I can't do anything for the next couple months. Like, and so it's a little bit of loneliness, you know. I I feel like being on the sideline is one thing, but when you're actually on the field and you're you know you're going through adversity together and you're making calls and you're, you know, making plays together and you're doing all type of stuff. Um, you know, that's what we all live for. So when it's taken away from you, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of lonely. So, um, uh, I just want to pick his brain. And, and, um, like I said, he's, he's gone through a lot and, you know, I'm seeing him come back and him practice today, uh, brings a tear to my eye. Cause I know he's about to go out there and, and I think I said to you guys a couple months ago that I'll put every dollar on 27. Every dollar I have, I put it on him that he's going to come back and be the player that he was before because that's a, that's a much that's the confidence I have in him. Your guys have practice. I know it's such a short sample size right now, and you said it might change over the next few weeks. But do you feel anything different right now? Like you've always helped them out. So is there anything that you look for differently now that you have a you know a different perspective? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, I just think that you know whether it's watching film and giving them some nuggets that you know they might possibly need going to the game or like I said just that daily grind of the season um kind of just same same mentality just not out there playing with them any behind the scenes moments from the Halloween party you want to share no no did exactly. you win? I did not I didn't know <laughs> you're good <laughs> no no I yeah it was it was an awesome costume uh I did not win um but uh you know I we won last year, and I feel like that had that played a part into it. Um, so next year we'll be coming back even stronger.